Hi guys, I have another tutorial for you and this one is going to be on how to use Digo. Um, what you can see in front of you right now is the main screen for Digo before you log on. Um, and Digo is a social bookmarking website and basically what it does is allows you to bookmark, just like you would put a mark, uh, bookmark in a book to hold a place, um, allows you to bookmark websites that might be interesting for you. Um, as you can see, better re reading, better researching, better sharing. And the idea is that we will be able to share our research among our class members so that we can cut back on the amount of research we do, but also be able to share great sources that we find um, so that everyone can benefit from those um, good finds. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to make our toolbar appear in Google Chrome. Now, um, Digo works best in Chrome. It does not work very well in Internet Explorer. So the first thing we need to do is um, open a Chrome window. And then when we go to the Digo main page, um, we have to make our bookmarks bar show up. So you can see here I'm going over to the settings box and I'm going down to bookmarks and I'm gonna go up here where it says show bookmarks bar. So the bookmarks bar is gonna allow me to see all the different bookmarks I wanna have available. Now to add the Digolet bookmark tool, we're gonna to go to tools. We don't even have to be signed into Digo right now. We can just go to tools and you'll see that it has bookmarklets. You don't have to install anything. All you have to do is drag and drop that information. Um, the Digo Lip Bookmark Bar is the one we're going to use because that lets us use the highlighter feature um, and the sticky note feature. It's very easy. So I'm going to click on Digo Lit. And because I'm in Chrome, it automatically sets me up to use that tool. And it's very simple. I'm going to put my mouse over top of where it says Digo Lit right here. I'm going to hold down my mouse button and I'm going to drag. And you'll see right here. And you can see where the um, little circle with the slash through it is it means it won't let me drop it off anywhere here but as soon as I get up here you'll see the plus button that means that I'm ready to add it to my bookmarks bar so I'm going to release the mouse button and now you'll see right up here where it says Digolet and I'll be able to use that to bookmark sites so the next step then is to actually bookmark a site. And to do that, I do need to be logged into Digo. So I'm going to sign into my Digo account. All right, and I have um, several groups that I'm a part of, and I'm just going to give you guys an example. I'm not going to post anything to our specific group for class, um, but I am going to show you how to post a group. So I'm logged on to Digo now. I have my um, icon there, and you can see you know, my name. Um, and I have done a search for the Amazon River Basin. So I was just looking around for information, and I found a resource that I'd like to use. And as I was going through, I evaluated some of the sites, and I decided that this worldwildlife.org is what I want to use to gather information. And because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, oh, this is a really great site. I want to be able to use it again. I want to be able to come back here and gather information. Um, they have all these great um, sections in their articles. They have a good overview with lots of information. I want to be able to add this to my Digo website. So I'm going to click the Digo Lit button. And you'll see here this toolbar that shows up at the top of the screen. So what this is going to allow me to do is a couple of things. The first thing is that if I see text that I really like, um, so you can see down here I have um, a nice kind of explanation of what the Amazon is and what countries it's a part of. So I all I did was highlight that text. I didn't click anything at the top. I just highlighted the text. When I do that, I'm given a drop-down menu where it says highlight, highlight and sticky note, or do an actual search. All I want to do is highlight this text. So I'm just going to click highlight. And you'll see there right in the text that it actually highlights that information for me. Um, and that's going to show up when I actually bookmark my tool. So I've read through and I've gathered, you know, looked at the information there. And maybe I decide that I want to highlight this portion. So I'm going to highlight it with my um, cursor. And then maybe I'll highlight and add a sticky note. And this sticky note here, I can pull that down. And where it says as sticky notes, I can do that. And I can make a note to myself. This is a good statistic. 
assistant to use for research. And then we'll click post. So I have a sticky note here with this information I've highlighted. Now that I've gone through the site and I found the information that I want to use and I think this is useful and I can kind of evaluate whether or not it's going to be a good tool, I can click bookmark. So the next step is to bookmark this site. Now, I don't want to mark this as a private site because I want my classmates to be able to see it. So I'm going to uncheck private. Um, I'm going to first, before I do anything with um, tags or, or anything like that, I'm going to click that I want to share it to a group. Now you guys are all automatically a part of a certain group. I am going to select, just as an example, um, our group for reform issues. So I'll find reform issues for Mr. Miller's class. And you'll see here there are some green bookmark um, in the green bookmark um, tabs here in the group dictionary. These are the tags that we want to use. So if you click one of the tags, this is going to help link up your classmates to the resource you found in connection to the topic that you're studying. This will be a great resource later when you need to go find additional resources and it will allow you to search just in that particular area. So I want to share my annotations. I want to share it to the group. I want to tag it with my research topic. If I want to put a description in there, I can. You don't have to and you want to make sure that you've unchecked private. I'm going to click Save Bookmark, and this is now bookmarked to my Digo library. So if I go back to Digo, I'm going to refresh the page, and you'll see here I have my new bookmark here for this website. It shows me what group it's in, and it tells me what tag I've attached to it. And then you'll see all of the things that I've highlighted. So anything I've highlighted is in yellow, and then this shows that I have a sticky note that goes along with it. So if I go over to our Reform Issues page for our group, we're going to see other things that have been tagged, but you'll also see this website that I've added here, and then you can see over on the right-hand side that these are the tags that, um, or this is the the tags that have been used and how many different websites or articles or um, resources are tagged with that particular topic, which is great because if I had women's rights, I could click on women's rights and see all of the resources that match up with that particular topic. Okay, so that's the basics on how to use Digo. If you have any questions, you can ask me in class.